Erie County taxpayers could be paying for the alleged reckless driving of a sheriff's deputy. That's the claim of a new lawsuit to be filed by the NFTA against Erie County and the sheriff's office. As 7 Eyewitness News senior reporter Eileen Buckley tells us, this all stems from a bus crash involving a deputy's vehicle. The NFTA filed a claim blaming a sheriff deputy for being reckless in causing a crash that happened October 16th on Grand Island Boulevard. The claim was filed in state Supreme Court. It accuses Deputy Gregory Kent of, quote, reckless disregard for the safety of others for colliding his sheriff office vehicle with the NFTA bus. The lawsuit claims there was damage to the bus and personal injuries to three passengers. The claim states the collision was caused solely by the negligence, carelessness, and or reckless disregard for the safety of others. The NFTA is claiming the sheriff's vehicle failed to keep proper distance between its vehicles, failing to hit the brakes, and failed to take proper measures to avoid striking the bus. The NFTA is also claiming the vehicle was operated at an excessive and dangerous manner. While the claim seeks damages, no monetary amount was noted in the legal filing. Two of the three plaintiffs named are City of Niagara Falls residents. NFTA spokeswoman Helen Tetteris tells us they do not comment on litigation. 7 Eyewitness News has reached out to both the county executive's office and the sheriff's office. A spokesman for Erie County Executive Mark Polenkars, Peter Anderson, responded in an email and he said that the county follows a policy where they do not comment on pending litigation. Live in the newsroom, Eileen Buckley, 7 Eyewitness News.